The other thing that's new is under the plus button. Now we've always been able to add photos and videos or photo libraries, but now we can actually scan documents into a note. Now this is a multi-step process, but at the end, after I've scanned my document, I will actually be able to export it as a PDF. So I'm going to choose scan document, and when I do it, it's going to access my camera. And notice it tells me position the document in view. So I'm going to turn this document that I have, and I'm going to position it into view of the iPad. Now you'll notice there's a yellow box that appears. That means it is looking for the four corners to scan. I did automatic, so it automatically scanned the document in, and it now shows up on the bottom. If I do manual, it changes from being automatic and now I actually will click the white button like a photo and it will capture. The difference is with manual, I can now drag the corners to adjust as needed for this document. So let's say that I need to change where uh, it's scanned or maybe I want to crop it in a little bit. I can do that with the manual option. And then in the lower right, I will choose keep scan. Now you'll notice that it's showing two documents that I have scanned in the bottom of the screen. And I want to save both of these. So you can scan multiple documents at once. I'm going to choose Save To, and they will now be dropped into my note. You'll see that it dropped both documents in, and I now have some scanned documents within my note. So students can really create a notebook or a portfolio using notes in a really effective way. I can also open this scan and you'll see that I can rotate it because when I scanned it, it didn't scan in straight. So I'm gonna rotate it. I also have some options for um, how I need it to be as far as color or grayscale because maybe when I put it in, it scanned a little bit off and I want it to sharpen up a little bit. The other thing I can do is crop. I have my crop option. So now I can adjust the corners and I can do this whether or not it was automatic or manual. And then the other thing is under the share option, you'll see that I can mark this up. So if I need to add some, um, maybe point out a few things for my students before I share it with them as a PDF, I can do so. Uh, whenever I'm done, I just choose done and it will save those options. The other thing that's under the markup that I wanna show you is out here there's a plus option and notice I can add a signature, I can add shapes, I can magnify things, I can add text. So maybe I wanna drop this box in and highlight this section specifically, then I will choose done. And once I've made my markups, you'll see that I also have a create PDF option. Once I'm ready to create the PDF, it will take both pages and what I've done and it will bring me to this view and from here, when I choose the share option, I can either airdrop it. Notice I can airdrop to my Mac. I can save it to files. I can add uh, a copy if I want. I can print. I can also add it to Google Drive. So what you would want to do is have Google Drive downloaded and signed in, and then Google Drive would show up as an option for sharing. So in this case, I'm going to just choose done and delete the PDF. But if I had this uh, connected to my Google Drive account, I could easily add that to Google Drive as a PDF and have it for any time that I need. Now at any time I can go back in and, and look at this document, look at these scans, modify, make changes, so it's not once I change it, it's done forever. I can go back in and modify it as needed. So then I can also share the entire note if I would like. So I'm going to choose the entire note. I'm going to choose my MacBook to airdrop to it and my MacBook is now going to receive the note from my iPad and when I accept it, it will open it and within that open note, what is going to be included are going to, is going to be everything that I had in the note. So that will include my table, my illustration, and my scanned documents. Whenever you're done and you would like to create a new note, you simply choose the pen in the upper right hand corner and it will open up a new note as well. So let's say that I've created a new note. I'm going to call this test. The other thing that I can do that I want to point out is in the lower left hand side of your screen. If you choose that grid box, it will show me all the attachments that are in all of my notes that I have on my iPad. So you'll see that I have scans and I have scan documents. I can from within that view quickly access any of the media that I have dropped in. So I'm going to go back to this new note that I've created and I'm going to add a photo. So we'll access the camera. I'm just going to take a real quick photo. That photo will be dropped into my note and in my other note, remember I have a PDF, 
but I'm going to choose that option and you'll see that it breaks down photos and videos, scans and documents so I don't have to go into each node individually to access the things that I've added.